But uh, one of my friends was good enough to let me uh, borrow this chainsaw to cut one of the trees in my backyard. And the tree is down, but this is what I used. My 8-inch electric chainsaw. Because this two-stroke chainsaw didn't want to start. Tree removal is definitely a um, expensive service, about $800 to remove one of these uh, palm trees out of your backyard. Mine is about 60 feet, so I've decided to do it myself. Um, I already had one over there that I cut. This is my second one, and I have a third one in the front. So that's $3,000 that I saved myself, and obviously, you can see, it's a little bit of a work and a little bit of a mess, especially for a single person, but um, I'm going to get up there today, and I have to cut it that way so it doesn't fall on my uh, patio. I can just cut it at a, at a root and hope for the best. So I'll have to segment it and cut it in segments and just drop it uh, so it doesn't fall anywhere on my house. I think I could get away with like six-foot uh, segments, so I'm going to go up there and just cut some pieces and make sure it comes on my side not on my neighbor's side. So this is a very very good company uh, it's, a, it's a still uh, very very good brand and uh, unfortunately it was stored for a longer time and my buddy was able to start it in his garage for about two seconds before he died and then I said you know I'll go figure it out when I get home and since I brought it home I cannot figure it out it just doesn't want to start. Uh, it's down uh, in two little pieces that I ran out of uh, power to cut them because my two-stroke chainsaw that I borrowed didn't work, so I had to cut it with this thing, which is a five-inch ch chain uh, saw, electric. So uh, this is determination, because that tree came down with this little dinky thing. Uh, Change the gas, put new gas in it. Uh, it's already pre-mixed with M's oil, and it just doesn't want to start. It has um, four modes, stop, running, uh, half choke, full choke. Um, and I've tried all of them and it just doesn't want to run. So you're supposed to run it on this one, what he explained to me, and then go to the second one and then obviously normal run on that. Don't understand me wrong, I really appreciate it Chris actually let me have it. Unfortunately, uh, because it's a little princess, it just didn't want to start. So this is what I got. All the way down to the choke. Nothing. So you know how tired I got doing that while my tree was just waiting for me over there. So I got mad and I just got the, the electric out and ch chopped the shit out of it. And the tree is down, but this is what I used. My 8 inch electric chainsaw. So the spark plug is extremely wet, uh, that's not good. So tonight I'm going to go to my friend's house. This is his chainsaw. I've tried everything that I could try. I don't know what else to try. Uh, maybe electric is easier to live with and you don't have to do any work, but electric doesn't have the power, but electric doesn't have this. Okay, it just worked a minute ago. Fucking way. And it started like a minute ago. Hey guys, so finally my tree is done. I'm going to show you some footage uh, from the tree uh, here on the side. So this is the mess that is left over after cleaning up uh, and cutting the tree. Um, I was able to cut it this far. So um, this was planted wrong when I bought the house. It was planted in this corner in some kind of like a dirt. But it was, the bulb of the tree is actually in here. So this is this entire bulb thing and uh, the company that I called them and I told them I said hey can you come and extract this thing out they gave me a thousand dollar quote initially and then they said that they cannot bring their machine over here uh, to bore this thing out so um, uh, it will stay over there most likely what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, I made some cuts in it uh, I'm gonna let it dry out because uh, palms are very very um, wet so I'm gonna let it dry out and then I'm gonna put some uh, diesel in it and let it slowly burn so make a torch out of it basically but I finally figured out how this chainsaw works what was the problem is why it was not starting uh, it was creating pressure inside the tank so you have to release the pressure I think it was pushing too much fuel to the carburetor was flooding the the chainsaw but uh, since then you don't even have to put the choke in you put it on one and it starts. so um, you don't even have to have the choke on. It was actually cold right now. I just came to the garage to make a video. I have to thank uh, my friend Chris, which uh, landed me this, this two-stroke chainsaw to cut my tree. I've done my best job to clean it when, uh, before I give it back. Uh, he was nice enough to let me uh, borrow it. I had to make a couple of uh, bigger cuts. Um, otherwise, I was able to, to do it with my electric chainsaw that I have in my garage. 
but uh, yeah, this one worked out really, really well. It starts really, really nice right now. I think running some, some clean fuel through it, it definitely uh, did a trick. But it was a pain in the ass in the beginning. It was sitting in his garage for a while. He never really used it. And uh, it was just not starting up. Where right now, it's, uh, all you have to do is just put it on one and... So thank you, Chris. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this did a great job for me. I've uh, cleaned it as good as I can for you. And uh, next time when I need it, I'll know where to get it.